Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting in Stewart, Florida. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Orion XS 1400. Brand new product from Victron Energy. We are a distributor and installer of Victron's products, as well as many other brands. So we're gonna do our best to give you an unbiased review of this and compare it to some other DC-DC chargers on the market. Let's start off with the positives and then we'll get into the negatives later. The thing that I like most about this charger is how customizable it is. So within the Bluetooth settings, you can adjust the engine shutdown detection to basically whatever you need it to be. Now this is really helpful, especially for installs with longer wire runs. So if you've got a travel trailer or a fifth wheel that you're trying to charge the house batteries of that with your truck, this is really helpful because a long wire run is gonna have a big voltage drop across it. So your truck's starter battery might be at 14.4 and then all the way back at the input of the Orion XS 1400 within your fifth wheel or travel trailer, there's been a two or two and a half volt drop and you're only seeing 12 or 12.5 at the input terminals of this device. Normally, it would think your engine is not running so it's going to cycle on and cycle off very quickly and not really charge your batteries. But you can go into the settings and just adjust that to whatever you need it to be. If that doesn't work for you for any reason, if you don't you know, trust that that's gonna work, you can use the ignition signal on the bottom. So on the remote port on the H pin, that will accept an ignition signal from your vehicle and turn the unit on to charge anytime the ignition signal is present. You can also set this up as a power supply or a charger without engine shutdown detection. So it doesn't need to rely on a high voltage coming in from your starter battery. For example, sometimes we'll use these to charge a 12 volt um, RV stock battery from a 24 volt house battery uh, the reason we do that is when we have a 24 volt battery powering the hydraulic jacks in a fifth wheel and the slides and lights, and then we have the 24 volt house battery powering things like the inverters, really just the inverters, that's pretty much it. We wanna always keep that 12 volt battery charged so we can use this, but we don't want engine shutdown detection in that case. So again, no problem, we just turn it off. The next thing I wanna to touch on is the voltage flexibility. If you haven't already heard, this is the 24 volt version of the Orion XS. So you can take a 12 volt input from your starter battery or a 24 volt input from something like a semi truck and charge either a 12 volt or 24 volt house battery. Either will work. So this is a very flexible unit in that case. Another thing that we really, really like about this for our installs is that it's got a heat sink on the back. So this is going to help the unit dissipate heat more quickly and hopefully avoid the need for a fan. Now we've only installed two of these so far. We just got our first shipment in about two weeks ago. So this is not something I'm saying you never need a fan for, but so far we have not had any overheating issues and we have not been using fans. Whereas the Orion XS, the standard XS, does not have a heat sink. And basically all of these were overheating unless we put a fan right behind it or nearby. So same exact profile, just slightly thicker and has a heat sink. Another highlight of this is it's got a VE direct port, same as the Orion XS. This can report information on alternator charging directly to your servo or other GX devices. As far as cons, the biggest downside is that it does not have a built-in fan. I know I just said that it might not need one, but wouldn't it be nice if they just put one in here? Uh, you know, all the Sterling chargers that we install do have fans built in, so they keep themselves very cool to the touch. And it would just be nice if Victron took care of this for us. I understand that introduces a moving part into the equation, but it would be nice if we didn't have to put one in. It would also be nice if they at least had a temperature controlled relay somewhere on here or any sort of relay that we could use to activate a fan when this device was running. 
Another one of our biggest complaints about this, as well as just about any other DC charger on the market so far, is that it doesn't accept large enough wire at its terminals. Now, I don't know if this is gonna accept four gauge or six gauge, so we're gonna just go ahead and find out right now. So I've got a six gauge wire here in red, a four gauge in black, and I'm gonna try them both with and without ferrules. So let's take off the cover. First, I'm gonna try the four gauge without a ferrule. Mm. You know, you can tell that someone somewhere has probably done it, but I'm not able to do it. So now I'll strip a bit more and we'll try with a ferrule. Maybe that'll help reduce the amount of flyaway strands. Yeah, this just really isn't happening. So no go on four gauge wire. I'm not able to get it in there with a ferrule. And when I don't use a ferrule, there's always gonna be some flyaway strands. So let's try a six gauge. Pretty easily fits in without a ferrule. Now let's strip a bit back and make sure we can fit it with a ferrule, which we've already done in the Orion XS. So I don't think we'll be surprised. Should be the same exact terminals. A little bit tricky, but you can definitely fit a six gauge in there with the ferrule. So it looks like six gauge is the biggest size that will fit comfortably in the Orion's terminals. In summary, this is a great value. It's currently sitting around 350 bucks for this DC-DC charger as of the making of this video. Overall, I still think I like the Sterling charger a tad bit more given that it's got built-in fans and it's a much higher power unit. But for the price point, this is hard to beat. Check these out on our store. We've got free shipping and free technical support for all customers. If you wanna pick up an open box unit at a discount, like the one I used to make this video, feel free to give me a call.